Okay, now we're doing section 5.5, question 39, UDU substitution. So let's see, We've, we're going to let u equal 2 minus 1 over x and du equals, well, uh, the derivative of 2 is 0, the derivative of this thing is going to be 1 over x squared. Uh, dx. So looks what look at what we have. We've got a du here, 1 over x squared dx, and we've got a u right there. So this equals the integral of the square root of u du. And so that equals the integral of u to the 1 half du, which equals u to the 3 halves We've got a coefficient of two-thirds here. That's when we take the derivative of that. Then those reciprocals, uh, the product becomes 1. And that's plus c. We need that constant, unknown constant. So that's 2 over 3 to the 2 minus 1 over x to the 3 halves plus C, and we are done. And now we're doing question 51, UDU substitution. So let's let U equal sine X. And so DU will equal cosine of X DX. And uh, now we have, by the way, we have a perfect fit. There's our cosine of x dx, so that's our du. We've got the integral of e to the u du, which equals e to the u plus c, which equals e to the sine x plus c, and we're done. Well, now we're doing question 71. And it's, uh, we're told that the uh, derivative of s with respect to t equals that. And we're also given an initial condition, s of 1, that is t equals 1 equals 3. So now, let's uh, find what s is. And so we'll take the integral of this thing. And so we've got the integral of 12t times 3t squared minus 1 to the third dt. And we'll use u du substitution, so we'll let u equal 3t squared minus 1. So du equals, oh, 6t dt. Well, we need, if it was only a 12t, I'll tell you what, let's multiply both sides by 2. So 2 du equals 12t dt. Now we have a perfect fit. So this equals the integral of, and I'll put that uh, 2 here, and looks like we have a u, 2u to the third, that because uh, u is 3t squared minus 1, and du. Yeah, 2du. Okay, good. So that equals, uh, that's going to equal uh, 2u to the fourth, and we, that 4 divided out, so I guess we would have had a 4 here, plus c, and now that uh, reduces to 1 over 2u to the 4th, plus c, which equals 1 half of 3t squared minus 1, raised to the fourth power, plus c. Now, the issue is we need to find out what that c is. 
So we'll uh, we know this that s of one equals uh, three, and so we know that s of t because when we took the integral of that, what we found was s of t. So s of t equals, uh, and this should be a d uh, u, 2 du. Okay, s of t equals 1 over 2 times 3t squared minus 1 to the fourth plus c. But we also know that s of 1 equals 3. So I'm going to replace s of t with 3. Call that s of 1 and replace t with 1. So that's 1 half times 3 times 1 is 3. 1 squared is still 1 minus 1 to the fourth plus c. And so 3 equals uh, 1 half, and 3 minus 1 is 2, and that's 2 to the fourth plus c. So that's 3 equals, and 2 to the fourth is 16, so that's 16 over 2 plus c. And 2 into 16 is 8. Now if we subtract 5 from, or 8 from both sides, we'll get c equal to negative 5. So now we know what s of t is explicitly. It is s of t equals 1 half times 3 t squared minus 1 to the fourth minus 5. And our work is done. Mm-hmm.